U.S. Capitol. Uh, let me ask you one last question in this regard. I, clearly, there were irregularities in the last election. There are irregularities in all elections. But I, I want to ask you a specific question. Do you think the 2020 election was stolen from Donald Trump. Well, Chris, I've been very clear from the beginning. If you look at a number of states, they didn't follow their state passed laws that govern the election for president. That is what the United States Constitution says. They don't say that the states determine what the rules are. They say the state legislatures determine the but rules. But the states all certified. States, they didn't the, follow those state legislative rules. The, the states but they all didn't certified. follow those legislative rules. Right. But at the end of the day, are we going to follow what the Constitution says or not? I hope we get back to what the Constitution says. But clearly, in a number of states, they didn't follow those legislatively. So you think rules. the election was so I, I, stolen? I, what I said is there are states that didn't follow their legislatively set rules. That's what the United States Constitution says. I guess the question is, do you think the election, not the last time, I promise, do you think the election was stolen or not? I understand you think there were irregularities and things that need to be fixed. Do you think the election was stolen? Yeah. And it's not just irregular. It's states that did not follow the laws set, which the Constitution says they're supposed to follow. The number two Republican in the House of Representatives refused to say that President Joe Biden fairly won the 2020 election almost a year later. Fox News Sunday host Chris Wallace gave Steve Scalise multiple chances during an interview Sunday to dismiss talk that there was something fundamentally wrong with the election. Do you think the election was stolen? Yeah. And it's not just irregular. It's states that did not follow the laws set, which the Constitution says they're supposed to follow. Scalise refused every time. I'm Caroline Johnson. Thanks for watching. Steve Scalise, it's important to note, isn't a nobody in the Republican field. In fact, if Republicans take back the House in next year's midterm elections, the representative from Louisiana will likely become the House Majority Leader. All of this continues the terrifying trend of Trumpism bleeding into mainstream GOP platforms. And if it wasn't already clear, this is why what the Republican Party represents today. Steve Bannon of MSNBC writes that there ought to be an important gap between the Republican Party's radicals and the GOP's leadership. In 2021, they appear to be reading from awfully similar scripts. All of this comes as Donald Trump's re-election bid for 2024 begins to really crystallize. And it's hard not to see Scalise as gunning for some part of that campaign. This is important context as the hearings regarding the January 6th Capitol riots begin. Because if one side can't even agree with the outcome of a presidential election that was basically a landslide, we can't focus on the more pressing matters of that day that need investigating. Instead of investigating why it was so easy for Trump protesters to get into the Capitol and breach security and the possible connections between law enforcement and the rioters, the hearings will likely focus solely on the ridiculous notion that Biden is not the rightful president of the United States. Once more, Republicans' tribal loyalty stands firmly in the way of investigating the truth. Thanks so much for watching. As always, you can follow me on all platforms at Kara Johnson, 917.